welcome back to my channel. My name is Hope and this is Mission Keto and Andy's here with me. So Hello. you know what that means. That is our weekly update video on the BBBE challenge. So as you guys already know, I put a video out earlier this week that I failed at this challenge, but I think it's the best for me, honestly. So as you can see, I'm happy again i'm feeling good and i'm able to work out so some things just aren't for everyone i think um i do have a non-scale victory for the week though so before we get to andy i will share that um we are not as you guys know we're not doing measurements or getting on the scale at all until the very end of this challenge because we don't want it to deter us or um i'm looking for the right word frustrate us maybe we're doing all this work or especially andy now doing all this work and the scale's not where we feel like it should be because i think our body is transforming in other ways so i feel like it's making us realize other things that are happening that are good and we want to make sure we share those with you so my non-scale victory is i can do a full setup <laughs> all by myself without anyone holding down my feet so Real quick story, and if you're not following me on Instagram or our Facebook page, make sure you go check that out down below. But I did a sit-up challenge for the month of June. And I remember your pal Misty, she messages me and she says, I can't do this with you. I can't do a full sit-up barely by myself. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm talking crunches. I just call them sit-ups. So I just do like the crunch thing. I said, I... I can't do the other either. And for fun, I tried to do it and absolutely no, it was not happening. Immediately no, immediately no, <laughs> the TikTok. And so the other day I was roughhousing with Ralphie on the floor and I got myself up by just randomly doing a sit up and I about freaked out. So now I called everybody in to watch me. Look, I can do a sit up now. I literally can pull myself up so I believe that has to do with the challenge. Just even though I don't have visible abs, I still strengthened my core. And then the workouts that I do every like five days a week, you're still strengthening your core by doing some of those moves. So I know that was a lot, but I'm very excited. I can do a full setup. I can actually do a few of them if you want to know the truth. So very excited. So why don't you tell them what's going on with you? And I would tell them um, all the good and the bad. There's not really a lot of bad for you, though, is there? No, not really. Um, let's see. What can I say? I'm feeling great. I think the only thing that I'm probably, like, last night, may, might have been because we did a lot of yard work yesterday. Yeah. So I was I was exhausted. I haven't done it like anything like that in a while. And then, so I was having a hard time sleeping. But I think that's really what it was. It was just, you know, <laughs> the heat in Florida is just awful. Um, but real quick, I would say though, that he's obviously feeling more energy and feeling ready to yes. get out there and do more because he spent half of the afternoon or most of the afternoon outside yesterday. And I just think the heat got to him, yeah. but we're a little he's... over two weeks ago. No, you yes. weren't caught me out there that long. So yeah. So, I mean, I'm starting to feel a little more energized. Um, definitely starting to see it in my clothes. I can see it in my face. If you yeah. guys actually look back at the first video that we did, right? I think that was on day one. Yes, right? it was. Yeah, I can. I looked back at that and I saw it and I was like, wow, I can already see it in my face. Yeah. So it's really cool, guys. I'm, you know, listen, this, this thing is not for everybody. <laughs> um, at 30 days, I, I haven't really decided what I want to do just yet. I am going to kind of keep the carnivore thing going, but I may incorporate chicken, maybe yeah. fish, things like that. Um, but not going to, no, I'm not going to get into breads and all that other stuff. Yeah. I'm not going to do that anymore. Uh, until I get to where I really want to be. Um, but I, again, I'm already seeing it in my clothes. I can you know, feel it in my hands, my ankles, my feet. All the swelling is gone. And I love it. And, uh, and I'm, I'm, really, I'm really happy. Even the people that see him every day, like Jordan saw, noticed it yesterday. He was in the mm -hmm. garage after doing the work and she got home and she saw it. So that says a lot too, because a lot of times the people that you're with every single day might not see it because we're so used to you, you know, yep. but I'm seeing it in his clothes too. Um, I will say the, the um, sleep is probably not where he wants it to be. However, we do go to bed fairly early. It's between 9, 930 he'll get a good five to six hours of solid sleep and then wake up at what, like two, three o'clock and be awake, wide awake for a couple of hours mm -hmm. and then you go back to sleep. So he's still getting enough sleep, but there's nothing like being able to sleep through the night, right? Um, 
anything else you want to talk about? Um, he's drinking his water and his electrolytes. Oh, yeah. He's not having any more symptoms. No cravings. This man nope. has no cravings at all. Nope. At Nothing. all. I have, I haven't. And honestly, my, my appetite is really diminished. Oh. So yesterday, I think I had, what, two burger patties? That was your breakfast. Yeah, we had some burger patties with the bacon mayo. And then the, the, those two, um, the sausage stuff. The little sticks, yeah. the meat sticks. And that was it. I was yeah. not hungry last night. And when, I mean, I drank a ton of water, mm -hmm. which probably is why. Like right after we did the, the yard work and stuff, I drank a bunch of water. And I think it just kept my appetite down. But I was hungry this morning, so I had um, scrambled eggs and, and some steak -ums Yeah, yeah, in. we mixed the steak in with the scrambled eggs and a lot of mm -hmm. butter, and that, that actually but, looked good to me. Yeah, but I'm not hungry know. like I used to be. I'm not feeling that snacky stuff anymore, so feeling great, guys. It really, it's, it's, it's really changing me, um, but <laughs> we got to reiterate, this is not for everybody. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm running with it, so I love to eat meat and stuff like that, but not everybody likes this stuff, mm -hmm. so hope did great. Yay. Listen, it was more of a kickstart. feel good. <laughs> yeah, stop. It started. It was, it was a kickstart for me, and that's where we're at right now. But she's doing great with what she's doing. Yeah. And we, you know, we're, we're doing our own thing. I actually had a thought the other day, or within the last few days. Like, I don't know what the scale says, but to me, it doesn't even matter now because I can feel that I'm leaner. I can feel my clothes are doing different things. I can see it. And so I, if, if someone told me right now, you cannot lose any more weight you're done, I would actually be happy with myself right now. And I think that is a huge thing. I still would like to, you know, lean up in, in some things, but I am actually at a place where I'm not miserable. I feel good, I feel happy, I'm energized. And that's, I think I've realized that even more, getting back on what I was doing, not on BBBE, because I was just miserable. I felt awful, I felt like death. <laughs> it was the weirdest thing and, and, I don't know. I'll, I will never do that again. But um, yeah, that that's that's basically it. This is a grocery haul. Um, the first part of it is going to be all the BBBE stuff and there's not much. And then the rest of it is kind of, it's definitely a bigger haul this week because I'm eating different things. But I am excited about some of the things I'm eating, which I'm trying to pick a lot of things that will not, you know, I don't think anything's going to trigger him at this point. Mm -hmm. But I'm trying to pick things that I know he's not going to like be like, oh man, I wish I could have that. It's a lot of veggies and stuff and he's not into no. that very much. So, so yeah, that's it. Stay tuned. We are at the over halfway mark. Yep. It's day 16. So he's doing so great. Um, in a couple weeks, we're going to talk numbers and, and do before and after picks and all that. So I hope you guys are excited. Stay with us and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye. All right. So I went to two stores today. Um, I got Publix and Aldi were the two hauls. So I've got to show you like a couple of different clips because I want to break it up. But this is everything for the BBBE or Andy this week. We are running low on a lot of things, but at the same time, I have a lot still. So I still have like three pounds of bacon. I still have some of the um, ribs in there I'm going to make this week. Some more pork belly, some more ground beef. So stay tuned for the meal prep because I'm going to do a meal prep for him and for um, myself and possibly my Jordan, my Jordan, my daughter Jordan also. So this is everything that I got. I got him some eggs, got him some bone broth. I really like these. The ingredients really weren't too bad compared to um, like bone, the kettle, kettle and fire. A little less expensive too and I like how there's one serving in each thing so he can just kind of throw this in the saucepan warm it up and eat it um, I did get him a couple of steaks uh, these are cubed steaks we're really if you haven't noticed we're not really big on steaks here and I know that's a big part of this everybody's like oh I can dig into a I don't even know the different kinds of cuts of steak what is it a t-bone or a t I don't even know but um, he does like these we would make breaded steak with this and I know we're not doing that but it is a steak that he likes um like I said we're not really big on steaks so I I got him a couple of these I know they're like a cheaper cut of meat also so there was like four there um got him some more steakums this was just a pretty good deal for the Angus ones and there's just beef in it he's really liking that inside of the bone broth actually now so and then he's only got like a couple more burgers left, frozen burger patties. So this is the only thing from Aldi's out of his whole haul here um, that we got. This was at Aldi's and there's quite a bit of burgers in there, a good amount. Um, 
let's see, one patty. There's 12 in here, and the ingredients are just beef. So that's that. So everything else that we got at Publix, I will show you real quick. Um, I Breaking it up on the right side will be my daughter's stuff, and as you guys know, she doesn't do keto, so that's why it's kind of broken up a little bit, but we got so many things and ways of eating going on in this house, so... I'm just gonna show it all as best I can. So, got some more sour cream. I'm gonna show you my meal plan for the week too. I'm very excited about it, but I got some sour cream. Got some more of this Sweet Leaf Stevia drops. Um, these are just really delicious. They're my favorite ones. Um, then I got this big bag. I liked this, this big, huge bag of rice cauliflower from Publix. This is their brand. It's organic. I don't think it matters with cauliflower rice, but I just like the big bag it was like $6.99. And what I'm gonna do is put it into individual baggies um, this I found watching, um, Princess Ninja and Keto. Um, she's got a great YouTube channel. Make sure you check her out. But she's the one that turned me on to this one from, um, Publix. It's organic smoked turkey breast and the ingredients are very clean and it is zero total carbs. But here is the ingredients, organic turkey breast, water, and a little bit of salt. So they have a carved chicken too, but this is, I was looking for like a deli meat um, and I think that sounded really good. Deli meat and, um, like canned tuna and canned chicken and stuff I'm okay with right now. So yeah, I thought that would be good. Got a frozen bag of broccoli florets. Um, we're going to do a salad or two this week. So these were buy one, get one free. So I got the leafy green romaine, rom romano, romano. What was I thinking? Romaine. And I'll probably chop this up even smaller because I like it really chopped. Um, I did get a 12 pack of the coconut LaCroix. We got a butternut squash for a pasta dish that Jordan and I will be having this week. If you're near Publix and they're doing this deal at your Publix, run, don't walk, but be very careful. The strawberries are 99 cents, normally 3.99. So that was really good. Um, I did get this bag of the Siete grain-free tortilla chips um, because I'm going to be doing a taco salad this week. I wanted a couple of crunchy things to put on the top, and I couldn't find any Quest chips. These are a little higher in carb, but I do know that they're good, clean ingredients, so I'm not stressing over it. I'm just going to put a few on top. Um, Jordan wanted, um, I got her a couple of chicken nuggets. Got her this bag of the Morningstar Farm Spicy Black Bean Burger. Ingredients probably aren't the cleanest, but this is actually something I can have too, and I thought I might. It's 13 total carbs per one. I don't know yet. We'll see, but the option is there for me for like a lunch or something. Um, she needed some of her, her um, Planet Oak Oat Milk Creamer in the Caramel brand. Not something for me at all. Um, she needed some bread. This was on the Ibotta app also. I got it for her last week, and she really liked it, and then she likes... Um, having this uh, white cheddar popcorn and the sun chips garden salsa for lunches and stuff so we'll probably bag those up into little um, individual snack baggies so let me show you what I got at Aldi's yet I, I had a good trip at Aldi's I'm pretty excited all right so here is everything that I got at Aldi's minus those burgers I showed you those in the BBBE portion <laughs> of the grocery haul. But first, so let's take a minute to appreciate this avocado bag from Aldi. Isn't that adorable? I didn't need a bag. I had bags with me, but I bought this because it's avocados. It's perfect. Um, let's start over here. Everything else in this video can be keto friendly. So um, I did get some disinfectant wipes. I got some of their um, bags. I needed some bags like sandwich baggies, um, storage bags for quart and gallon size. I've got plenty of the freezer ones, but these work pretty well. At least they did. I haven't purchased them in a while, so we're going to try them out again, but I've never had a problem with them. Um, and they're a lot less expensive. It was like $2.29 a bag, a box. Um, I got this candle. They had a bunch of different flavors, but I opened this up and I love the smell of lemon anyway. And I was just like, oh my goodness, $3.99 for this big size camel, camel, candle. This is the same size that like the Bath and Body Works candles are. So it's starting to rain out there. So it was a little bit wet, but can you believe that? Very good smell too. Got a block of feta cheese, got some garlic. I'm going to be roasting ahead of that in the, um, in the oven during my meal prep. I'm going to be making a dip that Sincerely Lugenia recently made and it looks so good. It's like a feta dip and you like food process some 
Greek yogurt and some cream cheese and garlic and feta. And I'm just like, yes, please. So um, I'm excited about that. And I did get some peppers, not only for our bearded dragon, but I thought it'd be a good dipping utensil or vessel for that dip. Got some tomatoes, got some mini cucumbers. I thought those would be good to dip too. And I have personally never purchased mini cucumbers before. I think they're so cute. So I thought I would um, get those and try those. Um, did get some cheese, sliced cheese um, and some block cheese. Their, their cheese is so um, inexpensive. It was $1.99 for each of those. Um, they do have the egg life wraps there, as you guys know, and I have a, quite a few still in my freezer, but they have the Southwest style ones and I have never tried those yet. So I definitely wanted to try that. So I got some of those and I'm excited because I'm going to make them with something else. I'll show you in a minute. And then I got these. This is, I, I'm making the TikTok pasta with the butternut squash and the feta and the tomatoes. And normally you need like two packages of the tomatoes. This looked to be about two packages. So I went ahead and got that and I just think that it's pretty and colorful also. Um, also got one of their blocks of the Irish butter. We still have two blocks of butter left, but remember we got two, four, I think we got like eight to 10. I can't remember how many, but maybe it was four in each of those blocks at, at Costco and we're almost out. We got like two blocks left. So I just got another one just, just in cases. Um, got some half and half. I'm trying something. I, instead of having the heavy whipping cream, I'm doing half and half. I think it's both the same as far as, you know, carbs and all of that, but I'm just trying something out here. We'll see. That's why I only got two, but even the heavy whipping cream at Aldi's was like $4.35 and it used to be like $2.99 and this was like $2.39. So I was like, I think I can try this. Um, did get some more mayonnaise. Don't ever go to the store hungry. Is that what they tell you? Well, yes. Olives. These olives are like special, specially selected, they say. Jalapeno stuffed, and I love jalapenos, and blue cheese stuffed. Oh my goodness. Um, it just sounded delicious to, to try. And the ingredients, look at that, pretty basic and simple. And less than one gar, I, I can't talk today, one carb per two olives. And these are good big size olives. So yeah, I thought I would try that. This I got, I have tried these before and it just was a big fail, but now we have that awesome air fryer that I love so much. So I thought I'm gonna bake these in the air fryer and see how those turn out. I'm excited about that. Got some blueberries. I'm hoping to make some chia seed pudding um, for my meal prep. I'm not sure yet though, but either way, if I do it, I'm, I'm gonna make some no matter what. I just don't know if it'll be for the meal prep or not, but I got those. I also got some tofu because I wanted it. And this is how I make it. I like cube it up and just kind of brown it up on the skillet and get it all crusty. It's so delicious. And I'm gonna make like my, um, fried rice with it instead of putting pork or chicken in it. I'm doing tofu. And here's the thing I was most excited about. This might not seem like that big of a deal, but first of all, look at how fresh and clean all the ingredients look in this. Very delicious, but this is wild caught shrimp, which I'm very excited. Um, but it's a fajita mix with peppers, onions, and spices. And I think it was like $4.99. There's four total carbs per con per serving and there's two servings per container and the ingredients look really good look at that and this is the wild caught argentine red shrimp which from what i hear that is like really good stuff so it's got the seasoning in it if it's not seasoned enough i can always add more but what i was thinking about doing for lunch this week was making it like in a wrap like with this the Southwest style. I thought those two would go great together and I'm the only one that's gonna eat this. Um, Jordan doesn't even do seafood, so this is all mine. So let me know if my what I eat in a day video, you'd like to see how this turns out. I think I'm gonna do it either way, but I'm curious <laughs> if you guys are interested in seeing it. They had a taco one too, which is pretty much the same thing. The spices must be different, but that one actually had a little bit more carbs in it. So I went with this one, but I just love it. it. looks fresh and I know you can do your own, but you know, sometimes it's nice for convenience. So that is everything that I got at the grocery stores. And now I'll show you what the meal plan is for the week. All right, so here's what Andy's having for the week. <laughs> 
beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. But then I want to show you what I'm having. Well, with Jordan. So one day this week, we're going to make the TikTok pasta, which is like the feta cheese with the tomatoes and seasoned up. And then you put them over pasta, but we like to put it over the spaghetti squash. So I need to clean my stove. So um, that's what we'll be doing. I have a video for that. If I remember, I will link it for you to see. Tuesday, I'm going to make a taco salad, but without any meat. It's just going to be pretty simple, but I have some canned black beans, the soy black beans, so they're lower carb, and I haven't tried them yet, so I thought I would throw those on there. It's going to be a pretty basic one. Um, maybe a little bit of salsa we have in the fridge, some taco seasoning, some cheese, of course, sour cream. I've got the avocado mash, that kind of stuff. Um, Wednesday, I'm still not sure if I'm going to do this yet, but the black bean burgers sounds good. I, I just don't know for sure yet. Thursday, we're going to do the tofu fried rice with the cauliflower rice. Friday, I'm going to make my broccoli cheese casserole with, um, I have made that before. Um, it is with cauliflower rice too. It is so delicious. I think that's in a recent video. I'll try to link it. Um, this, I usually start on the weekend, so I should have started it Saturday, but we're actually going to hang out with some friends this afternoon and barbecue, so we're going to do that. And Sunday, since I'm meal prepping and Jordan won't be here and Andy's doing meat, we're just going to kind of make our own. We're on our own. I'll probably be nibbling on food as I'm making it all day, which is usually what happens when I meal prep. Do you guys do that too when you meal prep? Um, but yeah, that is everything. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit like, subscribe, share, all of that. We are so close to hitting 3,000 subscribers. It's growing and I'm just so excited about it. It makes me so happy. Thank you so much. And make sure you stay tuned um, for upcoming videos, but also next week's um, update video too, because in two weeks we're gonna be talking numbers. Thanks everyone. Have a great rest of the day.